Hey guys, in this episode of Scam Baiting, I'm going to tell the scammer that I have the money and I'm willing to give it to him, whether that be a transaction fee or whatever fee he wants. I want to give it to him straight away. I don't want to muck about. But as it turns out, he doesn't want my money. Yeah, I know, strange, right? A scammer who doesn't want money? Let's see how this all plays out. For this episode, I'll be taking on the role of Celine Oliveira, aka Tokyo, from the Netflix series Money Heist. As I didn't want to muck around, I chose a scammer that just wanted to get straight to the point. Normally you get this complicated backstory where his mother's former flatmate from high school's third cousin is actually neighbours with the Sultan of Brunei's sister, and her donkey, which currently has a terminal illness, has a massive amount of wealth which it wishes to pass on to a random email holder, which just happens to be me. No, I didn't want any of that in this one, so I chose this one. Hooray! Not spelt correctly. You have won. Your email has made you a winner. Your email has been selected to be one of the winning emails in the recently drawn ballot. Ballot was based on email collection draw by South African Charity Fund in conjunction with Smith Loan Company UK. Amount won, 10.5 million US dollars. Contact Michael Bruno on email mbruno for your immediate claim. Thank you, Mabuza SJ Mr. C Tech D, Admin Director. It sounds legit, so of course I replied. Dear Michael Bruno, I just got an email from Mr. Mabuza stating that I just won 10.5 million US dollars. Wow, I can't believe it. Is there a transaction fee? Should I send you the transaction fee now? Regards, Celine Oliveira. I hadn't heard from him for a few hours, so just to show that I was really eager, I decided to send another email. Dear Michael, I haven't heard from you. Is the US $10.5 million still available? If so, how do I receive it? Should I send you some information? Should I send you the transaction fee? How should I pay? Regards, Celine. Michael replied a bit later, obviously thinking that I was pulling his leg, which I was of course, but I didn't want him to think that. Hello, are you being sarcastic or you want to claim? Myth Loans, Buckingham Square, Cayman Islands. I love his company name, Myth Loans, as in his company is but a myth. In reality, I think he's just forgotten the S from Smith. I replied, what do you mean? I got an email from Mr. SJ Mabuza telling me that I had won $10.5 million and to contact you. Is that correct? Am I contacting the right person? As expected, he replied with an email asking for all my pertinent information, uh, nothing too incriminating. To commence your claim, kindly support us with the following information. Please, as soon as we receive the above information, your claim will be processed with immediate effect. Note, you will be required to provide you receiving account details for payment once your claim processing is concluded. Thank you, Michael Bruno. So of course, I gave him everything I wanted, of course based on the character Tokyo. Thank you for your response, Michael. Here is the information you requested. Celine, Oliveira, Spain, Community of Madrid. Uh, that physical address is actually the address of the Spanish National Research Council, which if you know anything about the TV series, it's the building that represents the Royal Mint of Spain. Anyway, I'll give a few more details. My next of kin, he's actually a character from the TV series as well, The Professor. Uh, monthly income not fixed and so on. And I'll just give a fake phone number. Now the scammer obviously thinks that I'm being serious. He could have just done a Google search and realised that I'm not. Attention Celine, we have commenced with the processing of your whining to enable the payment to you by the paying bank Scotia Bank UK, which is a real bank. For submission of your file to the bank, you are required to forward your government issued ID to be included in your payment file. As soon as we receive this, your winning certificate will be issued thereafter. Your file will be moved to the bank for payment. We wait to hear from you. Regards, Michael Bruno, CEO, Smith Loan Company. That's the first time he said he's the CEO. From this email, I realise he doesn't want money. This is identity theft. He wants my ID. But of course, I'm not going to send him my ID. So I replied, Dear Michael, as requested, I sent through my government issued ID to Scotiabank UK. I told them it was in relation to the payment being processed by your company, Smith Loans. They said that should all be okay and are awaiting further details from you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Regards, Celine. Perhaps I went a little bit too far, as Michael replied, Hello Celine, you can as well have the bank process the winning and pay you. You do not need us. Communicate with the bank as you have started. 
Thank you, Michael. I find it interesting that he even bothered to write this email. I mean, if he thought I was being fake or that I was too hard a mark, he could have just stopped there, couldn't he? Maybe he wanted to preserve the reputation of his fake company. Either way, I didn't want to stop there, so I replied, Hi Michael, I just spoke with the manager at the bank and she said that I'm only entitled to $10,000 for starting up a new account and winning the lucky member's prize. What's going on? She said she didn't know anything about the $10.5 million. I mean, I'm happy I won $10,000, but obviously $10.5 million would be a lot better. Can your company organize the outstanding $10.49 million that I'm owed? I don't think I should be left out of pocket. Regards, Celine. Michael replied, Hello Celine, if you want us to work with you, follow the instruction that you are given and forward to us your government issued ID. You are not instructed to forward your ID to the bank. The bank does not process the winning. We do that. If you cannot forward your ID, then you are not the rightful person, so we cannot process your winning. Thank you, Michael Bruno. Of course, I wasn't going to have any of that, so I replied, The bank asked me to send them your ID. Could you please send your ID to me, and then I will forward it to the bank, and then I'll send you my ID. Or if you want to, you can just request my ID from the bank. Which is easier for you? Obviously, Michael didn't want to send me his real ID, so he sent me a nice polite message. Fuck off, Myth Loans, Buckingham Square, Cayman Islands. So I sent one final email. They're not very nice words from the CEO of a major company. By the way, I've reported all of your email addresses, phone numbers, and fake names to Scotia Bank, and they will be reporting them to the police. I hope you have a nice day at Smith Loans in the Cayman Islands. Or is it Myth Loans? By the way, you still owe me $10.49 million. Just send me a check in the mail. Thanks. Mm -hmm.